many missed the message in this photo or this cartoon depiction. The man here, 67, worked his entire life nine to five, only retired with 3250. This young 22 year old can make money off of her looks, making $30,000 a month. Okay, got it. I think what was missed here is that people were focusing on male versus female dy dynamic. Ha ha ha, he had to work all his life and she can sit home and make money out of her looks. Well, let's juxtapose the man to the woman. What if it was a 67 year old woman? The issue was to show the generational differences and how much money and how people can make money sitting at home making videos. Whereas that he did what he knew to do at his time because there was no video, there was no TikTok, there was none of that. So he made the most of the opportunities that was afforded to him. But of course we had to make it male versus female. But I would submit, let's talk about the fact that yes, this 22 year old woman can make uh, $30,000 staying at home based on her looks, but is she happy? Is she content with her life? I will contend, I will contend that the 67 year old woman, let's not even make it about a man. The 67 year old woman is probably more content with her life with 3250 a month than the 22 year old is. Well, what do you mean by that TJ? I'm glad you have. My age group and the, and the generations before we had the opportunity, whether with our struggles or whatever, we were able to be in the moment to truly enjoy the moments with friends, family, going out to parties, all these kinds of things because we weren't so busy trying to post so everybody could see how happy we were and make, you know, to aspire to put on these airs because we really enjoyed the moment. Whereas that many of you have to spend time posting how good your lives are and they're clearly not. Well, why do you say that? According to the Suicide Prevention Resource Center, it indicates that between the years of 2011 and 2020, suicide rates increased for those ages 15 to 24, 25 to 34, and 35 to 44. Whereas those in the age group 45 to 54, there was a steady rate at that time, but then a decline in 2019. For ages 55 to 64, there was a steady incline up to 2011, and then a downward trend in 2018. 65 and above until 2017, it was steady, and then a slight upward trend in 2018, then it declined again. So even though we're not making as much money, we are clearly content with our lives.